What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, if you can't already tell, we're doing something a little more extreme. We are going to review a little bit of Jeffree Star X Morphe eyeshadow palette and new formula of the Morphe Set and Fresh setting spray. Um, yeah, so Jeffree's palettes always make me want to go a little overboard. So here we are. Um, yeah, if you will, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up, ring that notification bell, and drop in the comments if you've tried this already, if you've tried this stuff out. Um, the pinks are obviously way out of my comfort zone, this whole palette, and actually no, I lied. Most of the palette is out of my comfort zone, but that is why I was drawn to it, because I'm really trying to dip into different things. Um, but yeah, I'm not hating this look. It's probably not something I would do every day, but I'm not hating it. Um, I am doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. You can pick between a $50 Ulta gift card or AirPods winner's choice. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to do that before you leave. Invite your friends to subscribe as well. Um, and so yeah, because I'm really ready to give away those AirPods pots or that gift card so yeah let's get started okay so for the first thing is the setting spray so as you know I have I'm only reviewing the setting spray and the eyeshadow palette so there was no point in me recording my whole face routine um but I did do that went ahead and did my face but I I don't know if you can tell but I'm looking a little powdery not bad actually but I tried a new powder, um, but I always look powdery at this stage in my foundation. So, let's try out this setting spray. Now, I literally just pulled it from the box. I haven't opened the eyeshadow palette. I haven't opened this. I haven't even took the cap off because I don't want to smell it. I wanted to smell it on camera with you guys first because it's said to smell like... Um, some people say it smells like strawberry starburst. Some people tell me that it smells like strawberry pez. Some people says it doesn't smell like strawberry at all. I don't know. Um, so let's find out. So here's the packaging. Okay, so I know that on some of the reviews that I have seen, I haven't seen many yet actually, um, but on some of the reviews on this, um, it's people were like, I think it's the same formula as the Morphe. I was going to see if I had it, but I'm not going to dig. Um, it's the same formula as the Morphe um, original um, Set and Refresh Mist. But, um, I was reading with, um, on Jeffrey's, um, when he, did, like, posted the launch. And if you hear lullabies in the background, my little boy's going to sleep, and there's that. Don't know if you can hear it, but. <laughs> um, but anyways, it is actually a different formula. Um, comparing formulas, it is, in fact, different when you put them side by side. Um, I did that already, um, online, but I don't. I thought I had somewhere close. But anyways, so comparing it online, it is a little bit different. Um, Jeffrey says, of course it has the scent, but Jeffrey also said that it was like um, uh, more hydrating, um, in which that is what I prefer. I prefer a more hydrating um, setting spray. And obviously the packaging is different, very Jeffrey. So let's go ahead and take off the lid. There is 2.8 ounces in this can. I will say this first, I was not a huge fan of the original Morphe Prep and Set Mist. I know that that is like against um, popular belief, um, but I did not think it did. Like I loved the mister as far as that goes, that continuous spray. But I didn't really, I wasn't, the formula wasn't to die for. Like, I always had to use an additional setting spray on top of that to get the look that I want. Now, as far as the longevity of my makeup, maybe it worked just as well as anything else. But to get that melted look, I just had other setting sprays that did better. So, I'm hoping since Jeffrey's does have an additional um, hydrating ingredient in it, that maybe it'll be exactly what I'm looking for. And it is also in the scent Starberry. So, without further ado, let's try it out. Mmm. Okay, so. Oh, it's... Oh, wow. I don't smell... <coughs> I don't smell strawberry starburst. But it definitely smells fruity. It smells more like, um... Okay. Do you know those Cabbage Patch kids that were scented? I think it was Cabbage Patch. Those, um, baby dolls that were scented? It smells like one of those. The strawberry one. 
if that makes sense. It smells yummy either way. It is definitely a delicious smell. So let's just see what it does for my face. I actually took a picture of like how my face looks right now. And so after I <laughs> use the setting spray, if it gives me that like real melted like skin like look like I'm looking for, then I'll insert the pictures side by side just to see the big difference. Now I saturate my face in setting spray, so here I go. I'm not sure how I feel about this mister. Something's wrong. Like, it's like spraying me directly in certain spots. Like, look at my face. <laughs> I mean, I know I put on a lot, but like, there's some. Yeah, at the bottom, it's coming out really direct. But then the rest is. Uh, my face. Um, I think it's okay though. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. It's like a water hose at the bottom. I'm gonna have to tell them. I think I might have got a defective one that kind of sucks really bad. I'm trying to clean it to see if maybe it's just like clogged right there. Yeah, like at the bottom, it's like very like, psh, but then the top is like the light mist like you would expect. Yeah, I think mine's defective. <laughs> But hey, my face is saturated, so let's just see if, um, I'm gonna go, like, dry it with, um, my fan's not charged, okay? But I'm gonna go dry it with something, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my face is completely dry, and as you can tell, it definitely gave me, like, a beautiful glow, like, and I don't know if it's just because I saturated myself, which I normally saturate myself, that's not abnormal. However, there was, like, the bottom of it, like, literally is really really strong compared to the rest of the mister but I really think it's the defective one I'll email them but as far as the formula it is freaking amazing I mean super glowy obviously I probably would not put on near that much next time but like it is definitely a more hydrating formula than the original um morphe mister but like it literally melted my makeup together so beautifully. So, I will email them in hopes to get a new bottle because I know that that can't be correct. Um, but this is like bomb. You can definitely tell a huge difference in the first, the before picture and the after picture. So, I'll go ahead and insert both of those here. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the eyeshadow palette. Now, the eyeshadow palette I have not even peeked into. I mean, obviously, I've, obviously I've seen what's been advertised. But I have not even opened this package. Like, this is straight out of the um, Morphe, like, packaging box. Um, but check this out. Even this unicorn is so stunning. I know that people have been, like, talking about how it reminds them, like, a little kid's makeup. But for me, I feel like it's, like, so Jeffree Star. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it speaks him right here. So this is just the unicorn. And then it has his face on the back. And hi, how are you? <laughs> this little, I should have my mirror, but um, it says, We all know I live for making a bold statement, especially with my makeup. The world needs color, and I'm serving it up by the pound. I'm so excited to once again create magic with Morphe and bring this beyond stunning palette of velvety, vivid shades to life and into your hands. All Jeffree Star approved and created all for you. One touch and you'll be hooked. So dive in and explore your creativity. Love and lipstick, and then it's signed Jeffree Star. Um, and then it says Morphe and Jeffree Star here. I don't know how much I really care about this unicorn, but let's get into the actual product. I mean, obviously, look how stunning he looks. <laughs> also, I went ahead and threw on just a lip, and that was only because I was taking the kids to dance, and my lips had foundation all over them. And once I took the foundation off, I just looked really strange since I didn't have anything on my eyes. So I just went ahead and threw on some lips. Um, and so... Here we go. Let's look in. Let's look in this. Let's see what this is about. So, okay, so it's very similar packaging to the Unicorn. I mean, yeah, to the Unicorn, and it does have that, um, like, what do you call this? Like holographic, <laughs> um, moment here, and it says Morphe X Jeffrey Star. It's very simple, but yet like flashy which I feel like again is so Jeffree Star and then it's just a uh, cardboard but it's like a heavy nice weight cardboard it's not like really really cheap um and so yeah so here we go let's see 
So, of course, there's that plastic piece that comes um, on most eyeshadow palettes. And then, oh my god. So this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And what I'm living for is the fact that it has a mirror. Like, you know, most of... There's a couple things that I really live for with this palette based off of when I saw Jeffree Star do his um, reveal. First of all, it has a mirror. Most... Actually, I don't know of any Morphe eyeshadow palettes that have a mirror. So that's a huge deal because... That is so convenient, especially when traveling. Look, you can see my mouth and my nose. <laughs> um, but this palette, y'all, check this out. Are y'all seeing this? Like, first of all, first impressions, this is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, the pan sizes are much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Like, I don't know how to tell you. Like, I mean, that's my eye. Does that help? I don't know. But, like, they're decent size. The the the. Today, Junior. T -t Today, Junior. <laughs> um, but the um, they're like a decent sized pan, but like the whole palette itself is so big compared to what I thought it was gonna be. But still, like I'm so excited. The other thing that I really love about this palette that I noticed when he was doing the reveal is the names are on the packaging. Morphe doesn't do that. They include. They actually didn't used to put names at all, or they'd either put it on the back, actually I think, I think, don't hold me to that, I think they put it on the back before, but I know for a fact they've inserted it on the plastic pieces, even in Jaclyn Hills, like the plastic inserts, it'll be, the names will be on there, and I don't keep these, so it's like, it's really hard when either like explaining to like you guys what look I did, or um, trying to do any kind of tutorial, or remembering what shades I used, it's really hard to do that. Um, when there's not names but these I don't know if you can actually see we'll try to get it into focus right here but as you can see right down here I don't know how focused it is I can't tell but right down here below each shade is the name so I'm actually going to do swatches for you guys um the only reason being is because I was just going to do an eye look but um which is why my eyes are plain Jane right now um but when I'm watching tutorials, one of my favorite things or reviews or anything like that is to see the arm swatches. Now, I know that the way it performs on the eye is not the way it performs, um, you know, in a swatch that can be deceiving. The swatches can be beautiful and then it can perform terrible or vice versa. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to pick a few different formulas because I noticed there are several different formulas. Let's see if it actually says well, how many different formulas he has on the box. So, there's eyeshadow and then there's pressed pigment. Now, I know there's different formulas in the eyeshadow. Um, there's a pressed glitter in here. There is shimmers. There's a matte. Let's see if we see any kind of satin. There's, that one kind of looks like it might just be a satin. Um, so, I'm going to swatch like a couple of each because to swatch this whole palette would probably take a while. Um, but it's six there's 30 shades in this palette for $35 that is a great price point so first the one I'm really wanting to dip into so bad is that pressed glitter um I have no idea what look okay so it definitely feels like I'm swatching glitter it doesn't feel like a super creamy or anything like that um yeah this to me are you guys seeing that like that's just one little swatch it definitely is pigmented like it's beautiful um but I don't know how you could see like it's not what I thought it was gonna be um but I still love it it's not it's just not what I thought in my head it was gonna be um I wonder if that I don't know anyway we'll play around with it okay so the next shade I want to swatch is this shade right next to it um, okay, first one, that one's called Millions, that, sh that glitter shade, and the shade right next to it's called Girl, and it looks like it's going to be more of like a satin as opposed to like a shimmer, um, or a metallic, maybe like a metallic, so we're going to swatch, okay, so that's incredibly buttery, like that was like very effortless to get that color pay off, and then we're just going to swatch it just one swipe down right next to Millions, okay, yeah, it's definitely... A uh, metallic 
but wow it's beautiful the formula like it's so so buttery and smooth like not even like creamy buttery like a silk buttery it was weird it was not weird it was a good weird it was awesome so I am gonna sh uh, swatch another one um, I'm gonna sh swatch the shade 2 which is right here because the first like um, row is welcome back to my channel and then the wand noise you know how he does with his mirror um, so that I think that is adorable um, but anyways this is the two that's why it's called two I was just thought I would explain that but it looks like a really pretty sh oh my god I was about to say a shimmery pink but you guys <laughs> I just want you to look just look at my finger I don't know if you can really appreciate this color but it is like an ice princess. That's what that reminds me of. Like, it looks kind of white, but it has definitely got pink reflex. I wish it would really focus on there. I don't know if it is, but God, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready to dig. Okay, the other one I want to swatch is Designer Label, and that is this shade right here right there um, because it looks like it would be a really pretty it's like a champagne color it looks like it'd be a pretty highlight and if it is um, if it swatches like that I'm probably gonna just throw a little bit on my face just for mm, the sake oh my god it's so silky like it's definitely gonna be a beautiful like facial highlights shade but I'm gonna swatch it next to this one oh y'all that is one swatch look at this I'm definitely going to have to put that on my face. <sighs> okay. You know, I'm all about those shiny things. But we are going to dip into the... I do want to do wand noise. Because that one really... The rest look like metallic slash slimmers. The wand noise looks like a true um, satin. Oh my god. It feels so... Look at that. Yeah, that is definitely like a satin. And I'll swatch this one on the other side of Millions. Okay, are y'all seeing how smoothly those swatch? Oh my god. My heart's beating fast. I live for some good, some good eyeshadows. Okay, so I really want to swatch some, some mattes. And I'm just going to be honest with you, as beautiful and colorful as this eyeshadow palette is, I am dying to try Vroom Vroom, which is this perfect gray color here and as like I said as colorful and beautiful as this whole palette is the first thing my eyes are drawn to is like oh my god I want to do like this gorgeous smoky eye with this fast lane black and vroom vroom gray so bad but we'll see what we got to work with we might do I don't know we'll, we'll see so I'm gonna swatch vroom vroom just to feel oh my god these, all these shades feel like silk. That's Vroom Vroom. It's like a perfect, like, charcoal looking gray color. And we'll swatch it right below all the others. Um, I am going to go over it a little bit because it was in my wrinkles, so it picked up just a little bit. But it looks like it's going to be the perfect gray shade. It's so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so Okay, let's swatch one more. Oh, I'm going to swatch Lynn. And Lynn is this shade right here, right below Welcome. Because it looks like a really pretty banana matte shade that would be good to, like, do a base layer. Or even, like, a highlight on the inner corner and brow bone, but a matte one. So, it's really hard to find really good pigmented ones for that purpose. So, let's see how Lynn swatches. Okay, it's super soft like the rest of them. Okay, it definitely looks like there's a lot of pigment there. So let's see. I'm going to swatch it down right here. Can you guys see? Oh. Yes, ma'am. There's pigment. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I've swatched some. I'm ready to dig into this palette. Y'all, I really don't know what to do. I really am debating doing like a baby pink eye. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, what should I do? I did like a peachy orange eye yesterday. So I kind of got that out of my system because I've been wanting to do something like that. Um, 
and I always do like the maroon or brown. I really, really badly want to do the gray smoky eye. Like I'm like hardcore wanting to do that. Um, but this is the Jeffree Star palette, so it's like I feel weird. You know what I'm going to do though? First, 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 we are going to go in and this is a sponge I used earlier. That's why it still looks dirty. This is a microfiber sponge, by the way. This is my first time trying it, and this is bomb for like baking and powder. I don't know how I feel about it for like anything else, but the powder portion, love it. So I'm going to dip into Lynn with this, this thing here. And press it all over my eye like it's a good base and let's see what we what happens oh yes this is like a really good base for like applying color it just kind of brightens that area of the eye um you could go in with the eyeshadow brush too but I feel like this um speeds things up just a tad and this this sponge is completely dry and the microfiber helps pick up powder so that did the trick. I think I'm going to start with pink. I think I am. I think I am. I think I am. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Morphe E23 brush. This is a good, like, transition brush for me. This is what I use this for. Um, and I'm going to dip into the shade um, Back, which is the second shade. I'm just gonna use this as for like the transition portion okay I really tried to be really like sparing because I didn't want to like I didn't know how pigmented it was gonna be but it is definitely like a really light light baby pink which I appreciate sometimes when you get these pinks too pigmented they end up patchy um, or streaky or you know something of that nature I'm gonna zoom you guys in really quick okay now that you guys are zoomed in we're gonna continue going in I'm just gonna kind of build because remember when you are trying to create a perfect eye look you have to be patient you don't want to go in with a bunch of pigment right off the bat and then be overboard so I feel like this is probably where this is gonna build like I've been, I've been building it a minute and I feel like this is just the color of it which it definitely looks like that is what the color is in the pan which it's good you know you want it to be what it appears to be it's just sometimes when you dip into eyeshadows they tend to appear to be a light pink shade and then the moment you put them onto your eyeballs you've got some kind of peachy barbie doll moment so but this is definitely like a true baby baby pink um, while we're at this point, I am going to go ahead, go ahead and pick up my highlighting brush just to see how this designer label shade applies as highlighter. So this is the Morphe M510 brush. I'm just going to dip into that shade because if this is like, if you can find a good, oh, if you can find a good highlighter shade in an eyeshadow palette, it really knocks out one of the things you have to travel with and whoa. This, I, th I thought I was glowing over here. And like, I'm being really light handed. <laughs> I'm barely dipping into that, y'all. Can you guys see me up there in our space? This makes you want to like just glow, 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 glow. I've been like really into taking whatever's left on my highlighter brush and placing it on the center of my forehead and my chin because I'm living for that glow all over. Mm. Y'all, this makes me want to keep going and going and going. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I know there's people behind that screen going stop. I am. So moving on, we are going to pick up, I'm actually going to go back in with that exact same Morphe brush and little uh, side note, little plug here. I'm not a cosmetologist. Everything that I've learned, I've learned through YouTube videos. Yes, I've been learning for years. Yes, I have improved, but 
if there's a technique, I'm sure there's some makeup artists that are out there that are like actually certified and they're like, <gasps> no, she didn't. But this is how I do it and it's simple and we're going to pick up that same brush. And we're going to go in with Self Made. Ooh, I'm nervous. I feel like that's a really bold shade to go right into, but we're going to do it. Dip, 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 dip. There's definitely, there's definitely a good bit of fallout on these. Okay, I'm going to be light-handed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is definitely what I was going for. Actually. Y'all know, if you've, if you've ever watched me, this is out of my comfort zone. Pink eye. Oh, Lord, please let this turn out cute. We may have to change our lip. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because this is definitely looks cool tone pink, and this looks more like a warm peachy. And I ain't trying to let my lips clash, but you know, let's just see what happens. I want to go in with a more dense brush. We're gonna add some purples. We're gonna we're gonna be bold. We're gonna be bright. That's what we're about to be. So bright. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with the. This is just a Morphe brush. <laughs> it just says Morphe. There's no number on it, but I think this is one that I got in like one of those packages. You know. Um, that's like just a collection of the brushes. They don't actually have numbers. It's just like a bunch of their brushes. Anyways, um, and I'm going to go in with the shade Mogul. Could be butchering that, but we're going to go into it. It's like a purpley shade. Um, wow. There's a lot of pigment, but there's most definitely a lot of fallout. I'll show you guys when I dip into it next time. But fallout doesn't bother me at all as long as it performs well. And these are performing incredibly well. Okay, I feel like I thought that was going to be a darker purple than it actually is. So, I feel like this is actually exactly the color I was looking for. I just didn't see a shade in there that looked like it was going to be that. But this is it. I'm going to show you this fallout before I go on. Just so that if anybody's bothered by fallout, you at least get the idea. But I'm going to dip into this shade. I'm just tapping it a few times. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it like fell into the other eyeshadows. I can't, I can't, I don't know. But you'll see that. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but anyways, it's not terrible. I don't care about Fallout. Fallout does not bother me because, like I said, as long as it performs well, I don't mind. I feel like back in the day when CoverGirl was like really basic and like smelt like your great grandmother and you know what I mean? Like, I feel like nobody expected even your eyeshadow to stay. Like, at the end of the day, they will be like, oh, I, you know, I used, I did have on this green eyeshadow. It was beautiful, but I put it on about four hours ago, so it's probably faded. Whereas now, we're like, where'd my eyeshadow go? You know what I mean? So, I feel like we're spoiled. So, I'm good with some fallout is what I'm getting at. So, this is definitely where I was going with this. I am going to take a more, um, like a, sh a flatter shader brush like this one this is actually a luxie 209 large shader brush and i like to use these brushes right here i'm going to clean it off storm off i'm going to go in with that same shade mogul i'm trying to just barely tap so there's not as much fallout and i'm going to press that shade into the inner corner like that so I want you guys to see like as you can see on the eye it definitely shows up like a hot pink whereas in the pan it looks more of a like uh, purpley shade I, I'll just have to insert a picture for you guys <laughs> but I do want to add some depth to the before to the outer corners and the inner corners just a little bit to create kind of a smoky. I don't want to use like blacks or anything, but I want to add some kind of depth with color. Um, so I am going to um, go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line with that same mogul shade since it did end up being more pink than I thought. I'll just use that shade with the shader brush. Okay, so now that we're smoked out and kind of brought all that together, um, I am going to add depth to it and I think I'm going to use Calabasas um and just kind of dip into it with that shader brush again so I feel like Calabasas is not showing up near the red that I thought it was going to and it probably no yeah it is 
it's just because it's against that pink so it's not as dark as I was wanting for this look so we're gonna move on to uh, let's try boss Angeles that's cute that's cute there Jeffrey you can see if that so I definitely oh. okay boss Angeles is insanely pigmented Y'all, this eye look may not turn out cute at all, but I really wanted to, like, pull myself away from... Tomorrow, I'm creating this black smoke, yeah. But I really wanted to pull myself away from it for this video, but... We're about to have, like, an orangey-pinky moment. Oh. The pigment. Okay, well, now that we've added this... Wow. This is not the direction I was going, but let's go with it. I do still want to add depth to the outer corners. I just got really carried away with that um, Los Angeles. Like, that is like a moment. I am going to dip into High Dude just to add depth to the outer corners. Just a little bitty bit. I do not want it to show up over my color. I just want to add just... Oh, I'm nervous. I bet it's so pigmented. Oh, it's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to add just a little bit of depth to the outer corner without getting rid of my color. And that's exactly what this color did for me. So, cool. It's like a chocolatey brown shade. So, I'm just kind of adding that just to the outer corner. But you can still see all the beautiful color coming through. <laughs> this is definitely one of those eye looks that is going to look a lot better once you throw on the liner, the lashes, and all the whole thing. Because right now... I'm sure some of you are sitting in your chair with your chin like this, giggling, eating your popcorn or your Doritos, like what is this girl doing? And honestly, the only reason I know that is because I do that, you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking at like freaking bomb makeup artists and like they're in this stage of their eyeshadow and I'm like, <laughs> like I could do anything different. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm really debating. I think I want to go in with Don't Know Her. Press that all over the center lid. And then right in the very center, do the shade 2. So I'm going to use my finger for this, even though my nails are long. Don't Know Her. Oh my gosh, look at that Barbie shimmer pink. Beautiful. Okay, let's see how this looks on this eye look. I don't know if it's going to look right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is perfect for what I wanted to add to that center there. Now I feel like this is coming together. So we're going to pick up the shade 2 with our fingers, which is that really icy pink, and just press it right. I just barely want it to sweep right over this center right there. Just to draw the attention. I feel like I'm going to have better look with this shade with the brush dampened. This is the... Luxie 245 small shader brush, but it's like a perfect like little flat brush moment here. And we're just going to dip into this shade 2. And I am going to damp it. I feel like I might have got it too wet. I did. Let me just... Okay. Now we're going to dip into the shade 2 and... Oh yeah, this is easier. I'm going to use the shade 2 to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone just to bring that pinky moment back um, in. Even, not that it went anywhere or anything, but... Now for liner. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye um, Pencil. I've noticed that this is like probably my all-time favorite um, eyeliner as far as like pigment I mean it is like a now why did you go and do that Jordan that's okay we'll fix it because we're going to line I need to quit talking why does this make me nervous and y'all aren't even watching me I'm going to go finish this eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back okay I may or may not have gotten a little bit carried away with the liner but that's okay this is actually what I was going for with the liner even though it looks like I'm like wow I changed my lip like or I took my lipstick off and just kind of patted over it with my beauty blender and I'm gonna change my lip color I don't know what to yet and I just wanted you guys to see this before I did my lashes um I, all I did was throw on some liquid liner up top I did a little bit of like a 
coppery liner at the bottom and then I just took some black shadow just to make the wings meet this lower lash line. I didn't even bring it all the way in. This part is the coppery and then that is just a little bit of black shadow and then I took the pink and brought just a tad further down below that um, and then I took off my lipstick. So now what I'm about to do is do my lashes, put on a new lipstick color and I will be right back. Okay so this is the final look. I actually went ahead and went with the um, Lily Lashes in the, sh in the uh, style Gaia and I don't know what happened with the lip you guys. I feel like this is not the type of lip I would normally do with this type of look. Let's just be honest. This is not a typical look I would do at all. Um, but um, for the sake of Jeffrey's name, why not? I used this shade and it's definitely looking more coral in the camera and in person I'm getting more of like a pinky like I don't know rose vibe um, and it's not picking up that way on camera so hopefully in pictures it'll photograph that way um, because in person it definitely looks like it matches my eyes more whereas here it looks like too orange or something I don't know but anyways this is the finished look so far yeah I absolutely love these products thanks for watching love you guys bye uh -huh.